Hello everyone. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Under Rail. In the last episode, we explored a little bit of Upper Under Rail, finding what I think is the heavy duty DLC launching point over here, and eliminating a few bandit groups in these other areas before making our way over to the Institute of Chort. We spent some time talking with the people there to see if any of them had seen the Choltists, let's go with that, bring back a multi-sided polyhedron, the device that the Faces are after. No one had noticed it, but we did get quite a few funny conversations in <laughs> over there. And uh, that about sums up the last episode. Oh, we did ask if we could join Institute and were told no. We insisted that we were interested in joining the Institute, and were told no. We made a big deal of it, and to get rid of us, the Rassifor, or Ephrator out front, gave us a task. If we can find and retrieve a statuette that they had lost, they will consider letting us in, but it is not a guaranteed admittance. So that is our task, and he believes the lunatics have it, and the lunatics are located in the remnants of a mall out to the west. So that's our current quest. Just in case you guys are curious, I did a bunch of selling of the gear we picked up over the past few episodes off screen. We are now back up to 10,000 bucks. And this is after I renovated the third floor, put a bot and a plasma turret up there too, and restored the power which took me down back to 7,000 7, or so. So things are looking good for us again. We should earn quite a bit of stuff to sell when we're done with the lunatics as well. A heads up that I've been doing this without using the cheat engine as well, just letting the game run for about an hour and a half till the merchants recycle their inventory and then running around and selling everything. I've done this for about 20 hours now. And... I have yet to acquire most of what's needed to upgrade any of the old world firearms from the gentleman at Rail Crossing. It's a bit frustrating. I thought it'd be easier to upgrade those weapons, but it you gotta get kinda really lucky to get the weapon parts that you need from any of the other merchants. They don't upgrade most of the merchants don't upgrade their gear beyond the, the middling component qualities. Which means that you're relying on the core city folks, Rail Crossing's great range of components, or access to the Institute of Chort. I think their merchants sell some high quality stuff. I think Oculus might as well occasionally. Mercantile will likely help you significantly, since you get access to a few other bits and pieces and higher quality goods. Alas, I do not have it. If you do not have Mercantile, I would recommend you just activate the cheat engine and spend five minutes cycling in, in, <laughs> merchants' inventories rather than hours waiting for it to complete in case uh, you want an upgraded weapon. Now, viewer, it's going to be a rough day for me. It finally happened. I got COVID. <coughs> Four years I managed to avoid it. With all of my precautions and safety measures I have ongoing. And I finally let them drop this week. And doesn't it figure this is the week I get it? I think I'm on the mend. This is day four now. Days one through three were awful. Oh my goodness, I just couldn't I couldn't get out of bed. So, so exhausting. I just couldn't do it. So thirsty, and it didn't. I didn't. Didn't matter, viewer. The the water was only a minute away, and I just couldn't get out of bed to go get myself a drink. A tricky cough, not the worst in the world. Reminds me of a flu cough. A very small sore throat. Most of the issues with COVID I've had have been 
aches and pains, which aren't terrible, and exhaustion, which is, it's the, it's been the worst of its symptoms. But I'm on the mend, I'm well enough, now I can finally record an episode of something for you guys. And here we are, outside the mall. Oh, I did not think they were... I did not think they were, uh, close enough to hit me. And we almost died with a single hit. <laughs> At least he didn't stun me. His friend luckily has also sprint and adrenaline. At least he has sprint. Okay, so let's use a dilation on him. Can we set him on fire? Easily move away. He'll never be able to reach me, or he wouldn't be able to. Where's your friend? Oh, okay, his friend, his friend has forgotten about, oh, his other friends, I was gonna say. Sometimes it happens. Friends are hard to remember sometimes. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Let's see. So now let's search their corpses and break down. Oh my goodness, that guy also had an electrical hammer. Glad we didn't die to that. I can't believe he managed to reach me and pummel me. So we want to break down some of this stuff. Let's see. So we can. Oh! That armor is probably worth repairing. The pistol is not, though. Go ahead and just scrap it. I do like both electrical sledgehammers. If I'm going to keep them, I guess we'll put them in this barrel. For later. We can hear, we can hear someone using pyrokine, uh, pyrokinesis. Psychokinesis. <coughs> Trying to break something. That's an alternate way into the Institute of Chort, if I recall correctly. One where you no longer have to actually go through the this trial, nor do you have to pass their test to enter the Institute. But I would like to enter it and do all the quests that are available for us there. Why don't we finish mapping out Upper Underrail here first, before we do before we go and handle the lunatics? We can hear that something The Lunatic Stair Maker. We're not allowed to talk with him. But we won't have to if he's dead. You penalize the door opening fee or tax, I see. A one agility will get us down there. Some decent stuff on the people up here today. <coughs> oh. Sorry, he fewer. Oh. Oh my goodness. This guy got slaughtered here. He's got a huge slashing wound running horizontally across his chest. Guess the stair maker tried to make a stare out of him. Well, we don't need to go down there. Oh, we, we do, but we're not going to. So now we're going to investigate this connection, which will bring us 
up to the last area here on this side of Upper Underrail, and it does. The guard greets you with a raised barrel. There's nothing for you here. Get lost. So what's going on in there? Private party? If I told you, I'd have to kill you. Now turn around and leave. This is a group of protectorate soldiers who have abandoned the protectorate cause. You have to convince them to join to join. You have to convince them that to turn themselves in <coughs> or kill them if you're playing with the Protectorate. If you join them instead of the free drones. I think we managed to convince them using Gabriel that they should turn themselves in. Felt really bad about doing that because right after that you get to work for the chemical assault unit. And, uh, well, that's when you figure, that's, if you hadn't already, that's when you figure, that's when you learn that the Protectorate does things a little differently sometimes. Okay. Our food expired. Let's have some side beetle soup. And it's time to fight the lunatics. This was, I think, the last things I recorded for Underrail back in the summer of 2023 for my lottery one-offs. And we did it with a character who was very much like this, if I recall correctly. So I'm not imagining us having too much trouble here. But I've been wrong before. <coughs> Okay, so there is someone on the other side. We did the door trick first, so we did not penalize the 25 action points for opening that door. Okay, then we're going to run in and slaughter both of them. Interestingly, there's a freezer outside. He must be on patrol. We're going to take a small agility boost. We're going to activate our shield. We incapacitated the other electrician in front of us. And we're going to stay here. Let's use a pyro to melt his flames. Running around the corner so we can't be seen. Now, I'm paranoid. I remember there being some sort of psychopath. Oh, hello, Pyromaniac. few bad guys out here today. They're wearing heat protective gear, I'm pretty sure, based on what I'm seeing. <coughs> we could set all this area on fire and make them walk through it to me.
I am going to throw a fireball, even though it might not do anything to them. It was, it was okay damage. I'd be curious if they decide to run through the flames. Doesn't look like it. Well, no, I don't think so. We can throw an HE grenade here. Uh, missed. Actually, no, we got all three of them. Wow, I did not actually expect that to work. Oops. Not really mean to move to move up like that. Let's use sprint around the corner. <laughs> Another pyroblast will end both of them. We're still in combat. Which means someone else is aware that oh, where we are located. Okay, not bad. We can let the flames die down. We'll take a look at our gear. Uh, it's okay. At the moment, it doesn't need to be recharged. And we get we punk the freezer who uh, <laughs> we saw earlier. Very good. So it looks like we killed how many? A gunner, a pyromaniac, two pyromaniacs, three, four, five, six so far. We'll leave the corpses here, and I'll loot them later, and we'll go over what gear they have. Right now, I want to do a more thorough exploration of the mall. Yep, let's get their attention. It's a chiller and a brawler. We can probably set both of them on fire. And we did. Let's use a recursion on the brawler because he's going to be annoying. Have to be a little careful. I know there's a psychopath or some sort of enemy who's cloaked and has mental breakdown. Oh, the brawler of rice ran to the room there, so that will keep him distracted. Oh, hello, a scanner showed up. Unfortunately, he didn't have the AP to do anything but just die. Okay. 
I'll often run and hide after I'm done with the combat, even if I don't feel like I'm in too much danger for fear of some stealth enemy who sees me. And I shut the doors behind me because if we are being chased by a stealth enemy, they will open the door to pursue. Okay, do we go in here and fight the two st stealthy guys? I think there's an assassin in this room. <laughs> I do like clearing out the mall. No, oh, Tim. All right, let's be careful here. I don't think, yeah, we did not create that corpse. That corpse is there for, dr uh, window dressing, as it were. A barber! A lunatic barber. That's probably a stealther. Now that I've set you on fire... Use your currents and run away. Oop! There's a sniper! Pretty sure that's what we heard. A nuker, a scanner, and a pyromaniac. We'll slow down the scanner. He is the most dangerous of them. We don't really want him getting a bead on us. Oh, you gotta do better than 13 fire damage. We'll use increment so we can use fireball again next turn and hide around the corner. Oops, someone has sprint. Okay, let's throw fire here. Was decent damage on the scanner. The recurrence should kill him. Let's sprint for this room to make sure we're out of his, of his line of sight. Scan. Oh! 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 Oh, he healed himself, too. Uh-oh. Oh, no! Wow! You killed your friend. I am very grateful for that. Oof, those two hits almost killed us. So we need to heal. We'll use an increment to try to get fireball ready again. We'll set ourselves on fire. And run into this room. Our shield saved us from the, uh... Sniper rifle, uh, this crossbow there. Oh, oh, there's an open window or some garbage that I didn't see. Okay. Well, then we have to just run. And I think we're, I think we're dead, viewer.
Yeah, we're dead. We'd have to have gotten a, a very lucky, uh... A very lucky uh, set him on fire right there, and we did not. Okay. Yep, that's it. No problem, we get to do this again. I did not realize there was an open window here, because there isn't. <laughs> Maybe this is an open window right there, that one. It is very difficult to tell. Once it was an open window, I was able to get hit by several of the, those uh, cryoblasts. I, I realized we were in danger. Wasn't really able to run away, though, at that point. Let's see. So we want to use uh, some fire. Good. We want to set the scanner on recurrence. And then... We run... Increment. Heal some Rasai. Just wait around the corner until they get a little closer. Right, perfect. This is where we want you. Was that really all of them? I think it was at the moment. We're not getting the others here because I guess he didn't run uh, into rooms that had other enemies. We'll charge our two weapons. Okay, let's continue. Stop. We'll leave these doors open. guy. Just wanted to get himself warm by the fire. A jackhammer that we don't need. And the other group of lunatics was over here somewhere. So we will want to we want to eliminate all the lunatics down here eventually. Let's go up here and check out the weapons store. Okay, I'm guessing no one's in there. <laughs> well, they would have walked towards us, opened the doors, started combat already. <coughs> <coughs> okay, the other group. Oh! I did not think you would have the uh, movement points to do that. We get all of them within the pyroblast still, so let's try. Nice. A recurrence on the freezer won't do enough damage to kill it, so instead we're going to try to kill the brawler to start. Oh, 
Okay. Not bad. As you can see, using we are now using our Tychrome Shock uh, Spear, and it is an amazing weapon. It's very good uh, for this area of the game. It's um, and for the rest of the game, we could make we could use this to get us through the deep caverns, and I'm intending probably to do exactly that, unless we get lucky with more super steel. At the moment, though, I can't. This is fantastic, <laughs> and it and it wasn't very expensive to create. Okay, we'll come back and once again search the corpses later. Let's go upstairs now. How are we doing on batteries? We have we bought enough. I am surprised that you don't have to worry about enemies above you hurling spells down on top of you here in the mall. But I'm glad it doesn't work that way as well. Traps, huh? I don't remember traps here in the normal mode. It has been months since I've last been in this place. But we can use those traps to our advantage if we can get a good cluster of enemy oh of enemies around. Okay, I was about to say I think there's enemies right around the corner here. Man, yeah, one hit's enough to kill them with this spear. Oh, look at the life the lunatics have. <coughs> it may be. It never occurred to me to check that their uh, their hit points are lower than other enemies of their level because they're psychics. And they, too, had to have their psych uh, psychic inhibitor broken, which means a 20% penalty to, what, uh, to their uh, hit point level, too. Chiller Sniper. Sniper doesn't see us, which is good at the moment. Okay, now we're getting we're gonna get some friends. Let's move over here. No one's here yet. A nuker and a freezer and a scanner. And a sniper. Okay. So let's activate our shield. And we'll throw some fire. I'd love to move up and hurt the freezer with a recurrence. I'm gonna. And then we're going to sprint away. It's not much damage, the recurrence, but it might be enough that he'll... It could kill him. Uh, for the nuker... I want you and your friends to be together, so we're going to slow you down. Then hide around the corner. Let them get closer. Two scanners and a nuker. I'm willing to use a fireball on these guys. The scanners use biolocation. Nice. We put both of them on fire. Alas. 
our recurrence is still on cooldown. I'm not that afraid of the nuker. So we could run up, but there's a sniper somewhere back there I am worried about. So we'll still huddle and hide inside this room. all of them. We need to kill the sniper and the nuker. I'm oh, sorry, the chiller. So, I kind of don't want to run up. Not yet. We, aggra we actually aggravated all of the other lunatics, I think, because we have some we have some approaching from the other side. That's a scanner. Hmm. Oh! Oh! Wow! I hit end turn by complete accident. So now we're gonna get a uh, we're gonna get a, a scan. So, we're gonna have to redo all of this now. Uh, all because I hit spacebar by accident. Yep, because we can get a biolocation. And I think it kills us. Okay, we have to heal. We have to use this. Use an Aegis. And we have to run. I can't believe I hit spacebar. I think this biolocation uh, kills me. Oh, there's two doppelgangers. Yeah, uh, we're dead. It's so annoying. We don't have a way of getting rid of uh, getting rid of them. The good news is it looks like there's another barber or a psychopath or something, so we have to be aware that he exists. And we'll just fight from in here again. And hopefully, I won't make the same mistake. Sorry, Fuhrer, I'm so sorry, but there's not going to be much talking today. It's it's really difficult. I'll just have to hope that this is entertaining enough. <laughs> Watching me uh, try to survive the lunatic mall. We would have we would have had it too. We would have been absolutely fine had I not hit spacebar. Unbelievable. Okay, a scanner and the sniper. Okay, we need to move up. Because we definitely want the scanner to die. Oh, okay, here they come from the other side now. There's open windows there too. Hmm. 
perfect throw. It went exactly where I wanted it to go. I don't think I can set you on fire, Gunner. I think you're wearing fire protective out an outfit. Yeah, we can't set you on fire. can't shut the door. We don't have the action points for that. We'll take a jumping bean, a focus stim, and an aegis, and some morphine, as I'm anticipating it running into trouble very soon. Oh god, Vanga showed up, one of the three named enemies. I don't remember what the other ones are called. But if as long as he's gonna stay right there, I'm I'm okay okay, I'm okay with that. Firecracker, what a great name. But it's these ones I'm worried about. We can probably survive whatever fire gets thrown our way, given our current gear. Shield of Xandor! Another scanner. Good. Wanted to use that mine on that scanner to kill it. Frost. You're the last named enemy here. You can't reach me. But that one guy with mental breakdowns on his way, I'm pretty sure. And our morphine just ended. Oh, you're fine now. Oh, okay, you're dead now. It's good. We don't have to worry about you then. Hello, Frost and a sniper. Probably anticlimactic. to stun you, but now you're dead. Before I commit, I don't trust this. Okay, there's no one here. Another scanner. Okay, let's recharge our sh or weapon twice. Wow, we use all the power in it and run around the corner again. Let him 
can come to us. We should absolutely heal. We have another turn. Oh? Oh. That was interesting. Why'd you run that way? Okay, well we did it. That wasn't so bad. There is that, uh... St there is the dude with, uh, his... Oh my goodness, Tim. There's the one, well, there's the guy who uh, is cloaked. And apparently there's still some random patrols looking around for us. Oh, there he is. Uh, all right, we're dead. That's that's all there is to it. We can't beat this guy if he gets a drop on us. So... Yeah, we can't, uh... We can't do anything. Yep, that's it. He's dead. Fair and balanced. <laughs> nope. And started combat too soon. So he's he's wandering around right out right outside here. Oh, okay, hold on. No, it's it's, just, it's these groups again. Alright, so we gotta charge up. And kill him. Ooh, good critical hit, sir. We need to use the morphine. Because that other guy is right here somewhere. Oh, or he's not? We have to run around into a place where he'll never be able to find us. <laughs> or, or we're doomed. Wait till these are off a of cooldown. Recharge our spear. Okay, let's kill that guy since he. Uh, I know where he is, or where he comes from. He's in the dark room next to the other uh, blue tr trans. Oh, transition room. Nope. Well, sir, you messed up. You should you should have done anything else but what you did. God, I hate you so much. <laughs> okay, now we just have to wait here until um, the drug is off a cooldown so I can heal ourselves again. Guess we'll search the cash register. Fun fight against all those lunatics. I wasn't counting experience points, but I think we did earn quite a bit during that battle as well. I do want to charge our taser. Most of them will have just garbage armor and lots of crossbows. The crossbows could be worth something. Is there another psychopath up here? We must have caught him on the tail end of where he was walking back from, because he normally, to my recollection, <laughs> is <coughs> <coughs> is in this room up here. And, oops, and he's still there. Might be another one there. So let's uh, let's see if there is. Hello. Traps, lots of traps. I see. Oh, the door is shut. 
the door is shut. So he's... There is one in there. I know there's one in there still. It's locked. That's why he can't get out. To kill us. Think it's worth it? I don't. So we're immediately penalized. The action point cost. Oh, I'm not allowed to throw flares, apparently. I have no AP at all. Alright, let's just run. Just run around like a crazy person. Let me go back in there again. I'm pr it, it might be an assassin in that room, not a psychopath again. But I'm positive. I'm 95% positive there is a stealth enemy in that room who's trapped himself in there specifically to mess with you. Oh, crap. It's a psychopath. He's right there. Uh, so we're going to have to use this. We're going to have to use adrenaline. We have to use the morphine. Aegis to survive this. And sprint if we can out of the room. survive just barely but we can I think shields do nothing against doppelgangers we must have resisted the breakdown because I don't see a second okay We're not done with the Lunatic Mall. We have one more room that has stealth enemies in it. I don't think there's a psychopath in there. And there's a the middle figurine we're here to retrieve. So let's save the game and take this. By the way, how much are they worth? The psychopaths in particular. Two eighteen. I feel like they should be worth more than that, given how tricky it is to fight them. This metal figurine depicts a man who appears to be reaching out for something. Strangely, you notice a tentacle rising from the base of the figurine, coiling around the man's body and his outstretched arm, ending at the hand in a straight line, as if pointing at something. What could it all mean? Coupons! A set of coupons for electric dishwashers, washing machines, irons, and the like. Unfortunately, they expired. Ah, darn it! Our house could use a washing machine. Ooh! Pickled mind shrooms. Motor cognitive transference. Not one for us. Nothing in the freezer. They're not even eating anything. She looks like, looks like they have some sort of soup or stew right there. All right, let's clear out, the, well, as I said, let's clear out the Lunatic Mall, and then we can do some inventory stuff. And then we'll wrap up this session, and we'll turn in the figurine in the next video, I think. Okay, I think there's two enemies down here on this difficulty. We 
didn't get either of them in the light, or uh, it would have. It would have started combat. There he, you are. Oh, just one of you. Really? Just one? Okay, just one. Really? Thought there was a second. No, there isn't. All right. All right, everyone. That's the lunatic wall cleared out. That's what that wasn't so bad. We get some of the no, not the juice, what's it called? Mushroom brew. Cave hopper steak. And time now to look at the corpses. And we can leave the garbage we don't want inside a fridge somewhere. So let's see. So what do we get here? We don't need you. Don't need caltrops. All daggers, which we'll get quite a few of them, can be recycled for some scrap. Gavinic overcoat is worth keeping and repairing. And a few bucks in the cash register. All right, let's loot some corpses. And what did these guys have? Boots. We already have plenty of better boots than these. We can scrap those. That steel cap might be worth repairing. Actually, it's not, but we'll hold on to it. Scrap down this leather armor. Scrap down this leather armor. Crossbows. We're going to earn quite a few crossbows here. And many of them are not worth... Normally I would say they're not worth repairing. But because we don't actually have too much left over to sell. I'm willing to take hits to my mechanical bits. That sounds weird to say out loud. In order to repair them for more cash. Okay, let's keep searching more corpses. Oh, wait, I'm still way down? Oh, wait, Tim, you're holding on to a bunch of gear now. Oh, I gotta use the bathroom too, viewer. I'll be right back. Viewer, let's uh, pick up where we left off and keep looting corpses. Let's see. Nothing good on the brawler, but wasn't... Ex Actually, nothing bad on the brawler either. It's as much that he didn't have anything, except for a few drugs. But we'll take them. Lots of explosives and more lunatic poetry. Oh, I thought all that stuff was in the cash register. It was in a corpse. Search the gunner. Okay, and we can leave a good amount of the trash in here now. Okay, break down more leather armor. Most of this is going to be just scrap for fabric parts. What? Uh, I apologize if you guys can hear Vern, my vacuum. He is in here now doing his thing. I have still been fighting fleas. <laughs> it's been months. Months! And I still have fleas in the house. Only in the living room. Only in one section of the living room. And slowly they are... I'm detecting less and less of them. But I still have them. And it's very annoying. I can't have guests over at the moment. Not that I generally would anyway, given my uh, how my health has been hit. Okay, the scope Zephyr can be broken down. Okay, we can quickly leave and put this stuff in the barrel outside to be transferred back to Core City. We 
can put all the bullets away too. I can come back here and break down that later. <coughs> it's highly un <coughs> unlikely that I'm going to fight an enemy here, but if I do, I'll be glad to have eaten something. Nothing in the computer racks. Oh. Guess we'll take those. My little mega pneumatic fist. Okay. It looks like that was all... The, no, we still have multiple corpses to search down here. What does a barber have? Steel dagger, buck edition's outfit, and a bunch of drugs. Okay. Oh, we still have a footlocker and a cash register to search. I'm assuming no other enemies were in here. They would have definitely walked out of this room by now. Locked locker. Footlocker. What's in here today? Oh, a Corsair. That's worth taking. All right, and what's not worth keeping? Ooh, some of these weapons. That one might be able to worth keeping, but I'm going to scrap it. Let's see, we don't need this pistol either. We don't need any normal daggers or combat knives. We don't need a biotechnician's outfit. We already have one at our home, if, should we need it. Some more boots. We still have plenty of boots over at Southgate Station waiting to be sold to them, so we don't need more of them. I... Hmm... I'll repair one. I can sell these gloves. Okay, the rest of those can be kept. So I guess we'll search the lockers. I don't remember anything good in the lockers in here. There might be an oddy item here or there. Oh, I say, as there's a laser pistol here, that's always worth taking. Because that's worth quite a bit. Oh, I am wrong! Rifle and Shotgun Technical Manuals by Elflet Wesson. A publication containing technical information for contemporary historical rifles and shotguns. Not that I'll be able to use it, because I can never seem to find the bits required to make any of those weapons. Stig. A light machine gun 80 round box magazine. Okay, I was wrong. Some decent stuff on those lockers. In those lockers. Both, I think. Let's put this stuff back outside in that barrel. I will, of course, off-screen move everything to Core City, then repair it and store it and stuff like that, because I love doing that crap. Let me get stored... And all the bullets get stored. <coughs> Alright, that's the ground floor. Let's see what the upper floor has for us. Definitely want to search the named people and see if they've got anything special on them. I don't think they do. But it's been so long, I don't remember. So we will check, obviously. We're going to loot all the corpses. Get some of our side back. And what did you have on you, psychopath? Same, same generally thing, right? Yep. Combat knife, belt condition suit, bunch of drugs, morphine shot blueprint. Oh, Tim, get out of that! Thankfully, it was a blob, a blob trap. The one trap we can actually just immediately get out of with... The, actually, we can get out of all traps that are in, that pin us. 
thanks to Escape Artist. What do you have on you, Psychopath? Same stuff, right? Same stuff. Well, you also have a mine on you. Hmm. Hold on to your mine. All right, now we have a big pile. <coughs> <coughs> a big pile of bodies to go through. First, let's search these, these shelves. Oh. Oh, there's baklava. No, we don't. Well, we, we should break those down for bits. Scanner has just trash. Trash on the chiller. We should start breaking stuff down again, though. So, let's see. So... Don't care about Luna's Balkavas. I like my psionic headband. Don't need these boots. We don't need either biotechnician outfit, nor do we need the combat knives that they had. They must wear the outfits for the look. The very specific look that they get for wearing them, because I can't imagine very many players go through the game wielding, uh, was it, bio damage? as their main source of damage. A little nervous opening a door and walking in. We did walk past this door several times. If there was someone in here. They probably would have come out. Ooh, 120 assault rifle chimera frame. That's pretty decent. And more coupons and a cash register. Nothing. Lots of sp spiky gloves on people today. All right, let's see. So, we don't. They're never worth repairing. Almost never worth. S well, technically, I guess things are worth selling, depending upon like the time that you have to play the game. Like, if you just want to sit around and let the merchants refresh, refresh, what word is that? Refresh their inventory, then everything's worth selling, technically. Just wait around for, for an hour and a half and then sell the stuff you got. Or use a cheat engine and just cycle the inventories of the merchants over and over and over and over again to sell everything to them. I tend to use a cheat engine to cycle the inventory when I'm purchasing things from them because I don't like waiting around for an hour and a half just to see if they're going to sell me something I'm interested in. To cycle the inventory to get cash, although I still adhere to only bringing back and selling things that are worth a decent amount of money rather than everything. Sniper, was your sniper rifle worth it? Uh, yes. <coughs> Zephyr might be worth it. Okay, it's going to be time for us to equip our special belt that gives us 50 more pounds of carry capacity. <coughs> okay, here's what Firecracker had. Some drugs, some bandages, two flares. He was wielding a .44 hammer, level 9. Not very good. A low-level shield. Leather armor that's immune to burning, but it's garbage. Three MK4 HE grenades. Three MK4 frag grenades. And a magnesium grenade. He must have thrown one of the magnesiums at us earlier. Oh, I think we searched Frost out here. Oh no, Frost, Frost of course is right here. Frost had a Psy booster, some bandages, some drugs. He's also using a 44 round pistol. Had a morphine shot on him. An insulated overcoat, which is okay. Wasteland Hawk, a powerful old world 44 caliber pistol. Okay, so he's got another old world weapon. And what does Venga have on him or her? Psy boosters, standard drugs, some cash, MK2 grenades, grenade case, thought control headband, increased head thought control by 20, low level shield emitter, a dagger, and a robe. And 
the last corpse is a freezer. All right, guys, so that will do. That's everything in the Lutic Mall. I'll have stuff sorted and moved when we come back. I might have even sold some stuff to merchants and so on. And we will probably be outside the Institute, or I'll be inside our home. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching this one, and take care, everyone.